If a publicly available data set exists, chances are high you'll be able to find it in Google Dataset Search. Hi, I'm Jen. I help people build analytic skills and careers with new videos every week. Check out the description for analytics resources. Google announced at the end of January that they were rolling out the live version of Google Dataset Search after about a year and a half in beta. Similar to a regular Google Search, Google Dataset Search serves up information found across the web based on keyword searching. By accessing different repositories across the web, they're able to provide access to almost 25 million different publicly available datasets. A lot of the data in the index comes from government data. There's almost 2 million data sets from the US government alone, but that still leaves 23 million other data sets on a vast variety of different topics. The Google Dataset Search page looks almost just like the regular Google Search page. That's not really a surprise since Google's pretty consistent with their branding. Similar to a regular web search, Google Dataset Search also gives you autocomplete options. So if you're just exploring the type of information that might be out there, you can see some of the different data sets that are within the repository. Once you've made your search, you can sort it in a variety of different ways that will help you depending on what the purpose of finding the data is. You can filter your results by whether they're tables, text, images, or something else. Many of these data sets are completely free. Some may require a one-time payment or a membership to the site though, but Google at least does mention if it's likely that that data set is going to cost something to be able to download. If you only want free results, you can also filter out only the free results. The descriptions of each data set seem to be a little bit hit or miss at this point, but Google's made a lot of improvement already in what these descriptions look like, and I'm anticipating that they'll continue to make strides in this area. You could just search for the information that you want in a regular Google search. So why would you choose Google Dataset Search over just a regular Google search? The main advantage is it goes ahead and narrows down to only results that are going to have data sets in those results. So you don't have to deal with commentary or articles that might be talking about the data, but not actually providing you the data. There's also some interesting features which people will find helpful, such as if you're looking for geographic data, Google will show you a map in the results. Knowing that many users operate on mobile the majority of the time, Google Dataset Search has also been made mobile friendly, so you can search for datasets no matter where you are. Google Dataset Search is built on a dataset schema. So the nice thing is we'll start to see more and more resources available within these results because anyone that's publishing data on the internet is able to structure it in a way that it's found by this dataset search. What exactly can you find in Google Dataset Search? I did a few different queries just to see what I could stumble upon. I found global basketball shoe sales in 2012 and 2013 by NBA player. I found avocado prices in different countries. I found the cities with the most swimming pools and the number of registered football players in Denmark for the last decade. Or you could look up how many cakes and biscuits people in the UK eat. This is a great resource to easily find free data sets so you can practice your analytics skills. Whether you want to work on analyzing the data, visualizing the data, or working with machine learning, there's something in this complete set that's going to work for you. And in most cases, there's probably millions of things in this set that are going to let you work on those skills. Explore the data for yourself and let me know what interesting finds you make. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.